Well, it's 9 p.m. And I believe our time has arrived. I got here a little early. Wasn't much I could do. And I'm hoping that now... Well, that ain't... That ain't good. <laughs> We're still locked out. We're locked out. We need to talk to... He said we need to talk to somebody... Let's see. It's just, just a visit. Do I have another way in here? Uh huh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Somebody let me in. There we go. Yes? Uh, I'm, um, uh, uh, sorry. I'm looking for, um, the mayor. Yes, please. Uh, Mr. Kilgore, or what was it? Yeah, let's go with that. Um, I forget. Quite. Welcome to government. Democracy. An interesting idea, huh? In theory, yes. Monsieur Le Mieux? Come in. Oh, hello, friend. Hello. Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, really? Okay. Now, you are not going to rob me again, are you? No. I... Ooh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people want to speak to you, Mr. Tacitus. I know. They won't hear anything about you from me. But... Uh, yeah, there's always a but. Of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? Nobody. We are not savages, merely Frenchmen. Don't be ridiculous, killing? Oh, dear. Terrifying, yes. I suppose I can do that almost as well as kill. I'm sure you can. Now, it's all very ethical. You see, I've been trying to open a major museum, a place of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Uh, art. <laughs> and how do you buy art? I don't know. I buy art of some nasty little man from <laughs> Paris selling <laughs> me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Ouch. Ouch, indeed. I think we know that guy. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference. And I'm French. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings, and he's saying that they're all fake. So, Where do I come in? So perhaps he oh. can be persuaded to revise his opinion. Oh, he's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Arthur, oh, I mean Mr. Tacitus, to meet a little Professor Shitface and have a <laughs> word with him. <laughs> Saint Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. You want me to just have a word, or...? How strong you want this word to be? Come, sir, if you don't mind. The gallery is just at the end of this avenue. As I said, he is a beastly man, this professor. Believe me, friend, you ain't seen beastly yet. Not even close. Speed up a little, please. You know, oh. I thought we French had a monopoly on arrogance, but no. An overeducated American can be far, far worse. Well, luckily, I don't there are too many overeducated Americans around. Yes, indeed. The mayor had such grand plans for our city and its people. Go to the right up here. The gallery is just up ahead. There, Mr. Arthur. There. No. Oh. What's his name again? Officer Shiftaker. Oh, him what did he call him? Present for shit face or something? Oh, oh, oh. Subtle.
Commissioner? Excuse me. Ah. Oh. Hello? The mayor asked me to get a preview of your findings in there. The mayor knows very well what I've found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. <laughs> That's a big claim. One that's gonna upset a lot of people, myself included. I'm afraid that's just hard cheese. Now, I've got a train to catch back to New Haven. Hold on. I see it's gonna take a fist in your face to persuade you. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, wow. I gotta punch you to change your mind. I, I couldn't. My reputation. You sure about that? I'm gonna give you one more chance. You gonna think of your reputation when your brain is jelly? I I'd never be published again. Well. <laughs> I relent. I relent. There. You see, Professor. An academic reputation is really far less important than a broken nose. Yes, sir. I, I, I see that now. The thing is, now people are going to look at those paintings and love them. So you're helping people, really. I, you know I'm right, Professor. Please not get me upset with you no, again. No, 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 sir. You're right. You're very, very right. So you're going to send the mayor what he needs. Um, because otherwise, so. I'll be in New Haven. No, no. We don't want that. Of course we don't. I'll write my paper this evening, sir. Very good, Professor. Very good. Easy peasy. I'm ready. Job's done. Just hiding from my friend. So, turns out all those paintings were real after uh, all. Problem solved. Wonderful, wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. Sure. Was uh, Professor Shiftaker happy to change his mind? He was oh, yeah. initially, but uh, he came around in the end. Oh my lord, this is not right. Trust me, I've done much worse. We shall burn in hell for this. Here's open. Yeah. The mayor asked me to give you this. Oh, that looks like a you. fat stack. We're in politics now, boys. We're in politics now. Fifteen bucks? You gotta be kidding me. We're getting screwed. Our prices are way off the rail here. Fifteen bucks. It's impossible. All right. I think we're going to meet, uh, we're going to go meet him at Lagrasse. Preferably Sands Gators. There you are, buddy. Good job. Come on now. He's pumped to see me. Try and dodge all these trees. Yeah, there, boy. Hard to see how it all right, buddy, you want to let her rip out here? There you go. Yeah, you all right there, boy? Yeah. Easy, boy. Yeah. So I don't know if the mayor will have more yeah. jobs like that in the future. But it seemed like that was way less important than I anticipated it being. Maybe there's more to it because it was yeah. numbered. Be good, buddy.
Gentlemen. Arthur, there you are. Come on. Here we Thomas, go. Let's get going. Right you are. Look at this group. <laughs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you yeah. saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap the some bugs, awful some vengeance on God's bats. last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though I do. <laughs> well, like leaving love aside. <laughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. I just don't like the plan that we're sitting in this tiny boat. Okay. So this is the way he made it sound, was it? We'd be shooting you. from the boat. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Oh, yeah. We're going over. Lenny, Bill. You're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. You got a okay. boss. Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. I'm ready. <clears throat> let's go. Shotgun. It's going to be messy. Stay out of sight. You got a shot on him? Well, of course. Something creepy about these statues. <laughs> you want me to take it? Like Arthur! On you? It's like someone's looking... <laughs> I'm okay with the shotgun. Oh! One on the left as well. Not the moonshine. Uh, how about I break in nicely? Have some tact, Arthur. you fools. Look out! If I see you in time, you're gonna bed. 
Oh, right in the you know what. Shit. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm sorry, friend. Oh, now you're sorry. No, name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. All right, fine. Wait. For some reason, I thought he was in his bed there. That's weird. I think Dutch wants to have a little chat, Mr. Bronte. Put your gun down. Oh, we got cops. Frick. Oh, this is going to be bad for him. Oh, come on, Lenny. He's probably going to wish we shot him. All right, come on. Let's get out of here. Yep. Oh, hey, big man. We going to ransom you or what? Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting... You're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men. All your money. It weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me? I run a city. Yeah, not for long, you don't. <laughs> and when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand you don't even possess your own men a thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free <laughs> what are you gonna say now 
They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. No, they are good at smelling filth, huh? So oh. filth has got to be disposed oh. of. Our friends of oh. are going to come and rescue you, you oh. repulsive little maggot. Oh. 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 Call them now. You call them! Jesus. Oh, whoa. Jesus. Part of your philosophy books cover feeding a fellow. The goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. Dutch is going dark here. Real dark. And it's been coming for a while. We're officially on the Dark Dutch timeline. Somebody over here, I think. Maybe this is Tilly. Yeah, here we go. We can give her that item. It's a necklace, I think. I found this. You said you lost yours. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Here, please take this. It's the least I can do. Thanks. Appreciate that. Looks like Dutch is outside. Dutch, this is the way to do this job. Oh no, he's inside. The distraction will buy you all the time you need. I'm just gonna grab some food and some coffee. You've eaten stew recently. Try again later. I'll eat stew when I damn well want to. Between you and me, I'm nervous. I suppose, I suppose that's it. You're never nervous. That's been my job all these years. I know. <laughs> that's how you know it's risky. You're sure. Certain. Well, not certain it will be done, but certain it can be done. And certain this is the only way I see we can do it. I've timed it out more than once. Well, you're the expert. Jim? Look, the bank. Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city, they're police, but as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here, we know we're yeah, dead. We're kind of but full plan. committed. We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. If that's what Jose is saying. It's as good a plan as any. I, th I think I agree. We do it at night. There's the dram of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. They'll pick us off far easier. I know. I'm, I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute Properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone get some rest. We ride out in the morning. Oh. Look smart. Sick. Travel light. This is gonna be wild. 
You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks, we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Sounds good to me. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! <laughs> Come on, Hosea, get moving. We ain't got all day. This is it, gentlemen. The last one. Where have we heard that before? <laughs> what has happened yeah. to you, John? You lost all your heart. I'm just trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. I'm just gonna make sure that we get set up the way that we want here. I like the pump action. And then maybe we go... Ah. Uh... How soon are we shipping out? As soon as we get a pet. This is organized. Boat down to Argentina, then another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind. Forget that. It's gone. Oh, you that won't talk really? Like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some. I wouldn't mind finishing one job before we move on to the next, but fine. This is a big city bank. Right. With security, guards, police. Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny. Secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Got it? Got Gentlemen, it. Let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. You'll know by the noise. Any problems? The see in camp. Good luck, gentlemen. Right on! Yeah! Everybody know the drill. We head in hard and stay calm. They won't be expecting us. Any minor trouble, head back to camp. We'll leave in a few days. You good, Bill? Sure. And right on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! <laughs> One jacked more up. Time. Let's ride! Yeah! Saint Denis. Calmly does it, fellas. Act normal. Surely this still looks a little suspicious, no?